Hey there, Nordian fans. It's your good friend here, Rai Rai, and I'm back to do another Nordian video, okay? Now, last week, a Nordian dominate Texas Longhorns. I was very surprised in the second half how Nordian played, and they scored. 38 points. They only give up three points. That is awesome. Now, they played Virginia Cavaliers on road for the first road game of the 2015 college football. So, let's see what happens. Go Nordam. Football and there always is an opportunity for a two-touchdown underdog. Virginia wins the toss. They defer. Dylan Sims with three touchdowns. There goes a kick to kick off the game. And touchback. Let's go Irish. Oh, yeah. It's halftime. Nordam is down 14 to 12 over Virginia Cavaliers. Okay. Cavaliers are leading in this game. And Notre Dame looked very, very good in the first quarter. They dominated in the first quarter. That's what I'm trying to say. The defense looks good. The running back looks good. The quarterback, not so much. Um, the first score that Notre Dame did was a trick play. It was a fake field goal. Wow. Very surprised. So they made it, but they tried to attempt the two point conversion. Why so damn early? No damn. You should just go for the extra point. Make it 7 nothing. Instead of that, they just got the 6 nothing. Very stupid. So, late in the first quarter, they got another. Point. It was a field goal and make it nine nothing. Okay. Then late in the first quarter, they got another field goal, make it twelve to nothing. So they dominate in the first quarter. Then in the second quarter, Virginia makes some good plays and all good stuff. There's one good play that I can remember off my top of my head. Um, the quarterback for Virginia throw it up and the two defenders for Notre Dame I don't know what happened but I guess it was a tip pass and Virginia still caught it really Notre Dame where's the defense you guys fell asleep you guys did very well in the first quarter now the second quarter you just give up you get lazy then they had a huge play another big play for um for um Virginia Tech it was a 42 yard bomb you know how that happened it was a trick play I can read out read it was a trick play okay they give it to one player then they give it to another player then they give it back to um the quarterback the quarterback heaves it up and that receiver is wide open really no name damn it where's your freaking defense so like I said a few minutes ago, Notre Dame is down 14 to 12. They're down by two points. Let's see what they do in the second half. Hopefully, Notre Dame can get back in this damn game and maybe, just maybe, they can win this game. I forgot to mention earlier in the video, Notre Dame is ranked number nine, and the Virginia Cavaliers is not ranked. So. If Virginia Cavaliers could find a way to upset Notre Dame, that would be a mega upset for them because they have not won a game in their early season. Notre Dame is undefeated from last Saturday. They dominated. So I see you guys on the flip side. Outside linebacker. 
Here goes the kick to kick off the second half. And out of bounds. Really? Let's go with Notre Dame. For the second half. Yeah! That's it! Notre Dame wins. 34-27. Very, very good game. Notre Dame is 2-0 undefeated. Yes. All right, no name. Woohoo! All right. Go Irish. Yeah, come on. Woo! Holy crap. No name came from behind and won this damn game. 34 to 27. No name is undefeated still. 2-0. That's excellent. Now, I'm going to give you a recap in a second half, okay? Okay, third quarter. Hmm, let's see here, how am I going to say this? Um, I think it was his name. He threw a bomb, 59-yard TD to Fuller. Make it 18 to 14 to extend our lead. I'm sorry, to take the lead, okay? Then, I'm trying to think here, okay? They had an extra point, make it 19 to 14 to extend our lead. There you go. Then, the quarterback for Notre Dame injured his ankle. Now, if you saw the replay, he like, like a pretzel kind of thing. He, um, I can't only really describe it. So he was out of action. He never returned. So that really a big blow because he did very well in that first game against Texas Longhorns, you know, and um, let's see what happens, then they run the ball, make it 25 to 14, so that is a great countable lead, that's what we all thought, then almost in the third quarter, they hit an extra point, make it 26 to 14 to end it. Then started the fourth quarter. Um, they got a touchdown. Virginia make it 26 to 20. So they trying to creep back in this damn game. They got the extra point, make it 26 to 21. And this is so stupid though. They fail on a two point conversion. Dumbass, because later on in the game, it hurt. Him. And I'll tell you that in a few minutes. So, it was 26 27 Virginia, okay? No name had a ball. It was a backup quarterback, okay? He did okay. Um, he got the fuller, he ran a little bit, he ran in for touchdown, he complete, then he, the guy ran 39 yards for touchdown, uh, it was 32-27, 12 minutes left in the game, Virginia trying to make a big play, nothing happened. So the final score was 34-27. So that's awesome. And then what I said about two point conversion, if they made it, probably Virginia will win this damn game. I don't know. So um, that's good. Okay. Now Notre Dame go go back to South Bend. You know. And next game will be. Hold on.
sorry about the delay on LB against Notre Dame, okay? September 19th, 2015, okay? Now, the latest about the quarterback for Notre Dame, probably you guys know already, because this is an old video already. Sorry, if you're wondering why I don't have my shit together, I'm just having a little issues with my tablet, sorry. This is right here. For the quarterback for our Notre Dame. This is right here. Uh, fracture ankle. That is really a big blow. I don't know what Notre Dame going to do. I think they are down off to one quarterback. I don't know what happened. I mean, I know what happened, but with the other quarterback we had last year, he transferred to Florida State. Uh, the quarterback we had last week and um, on Saturday's game, he did pretty good. And then, and then late in the third quarter, or I think at the end of the third quarter, I forgot when it happened. He he um, turned his ankle. Now he fractured it. That's what the doctor said. That really sucks. Now he's out for the year. Damn it! That's the second Notre Dame player is out for the year this year. Some of of a gun. So that's my latest about Notre Dame. Hopefully Notre Dame fans enjoy my thoughts on the game. Some highlights. I know it's not that much highlights but whatever. Um, that's been it. Hopefully Notre Dame will move up the rankings and all that good stuff. Okay. They played um, Georgia and Georgia is ranked let me see, hold on. Man, I'm not prepared. Okay, they are rank number 15th, and Notre Dame is rank number 9. Of course, that's going to change when a new uh, AP poll is going to be a release. So everyone have a great one, and I'll talk to you on the flip side. You guys and ladies can follow me on Twitter. It's TeamRI32. You can check out my main channel, TeamRI, and also click my Facebook like page. It really means a lot to me, and see you next Notre Dame video. And don't forget, go Notre Dame, or go Irish.